Hey everybody, my name is Scott Minch and this is Kemper Profiler TV. This is the first video. New channel, new gear, new all kinds of stuff. Now, some of you may know me, most maybe, know me uh, as the G-System guy. I uh, ran G-System videos for about five years, used the G-System for about eight years, and just recently came to the point where I decided to switch, upgrade really, to the Kemper Profiler. And my mission with these videos and this channel is to help the users of the, uh, the KPA to get more out of it, to be able to manipulate the effects, to uh, recreate tones that they want, um, how to get the best out of the profiles. And I, there is absolutely no shortage of great profiles out there. Um, honestly, I've got more than I'll ever need, and I've only got 145 profiles, and I think it came with 200. I bought a few of the Michael Britt profiles. I downloaded the, downloaded the free Michael Wagner profiles, which are really great, and I've been working with those for the past few weeks. And when I uh, started G-System videos, I'd already been using the G-System for four years, so I was something of an expert, sort of. And uh, I've been using the Kemper for about four weeks, so I am far from an expert, but I, uh, I come at it from a, a different perspective than most people. And I think I can help everybody to get the most from the Kemper. So today, the topic is uh, the Sparkle Drive, which was a great Voodoo Lab pedal that allowed you to combine your clean guitar sound with the overdrive sound. You can do that with the Kemper in two different ways. I'm going to show you those two different ways today and then uh, play some sounds, show you what, what I'm working with rig-wise here, and uh, let's get things started, shall we? All right, here we are with my medium gain plexitone. This is from a Michael Wagner profile, one of the free ones on the uh, Kemper website from his Voodoo Plexi. And I just lowered the gain on it and did some tweaking to the uh, EQ. But anyway, the main reason for the season today is the direct mix. Now, I'm going to go into the whole parallel path method on the next video. I've sort of run out of time with this one because this is a lot to uh, put together. So this is the easiest way to do it. The parallel pathway doesn't sound quite as good because you're relying on overdrive from your stomps compared to the overdrive from the amp. So it's going to be a little bit different. And I discovered the parallel pathway uh, last week and then the direct mix method last night when I was pouring over the manual and always wondered what the direct mix, direct mix meant. It means when you're at zero right here that you're just using 100% of the uh, the profiled amp. When you turn this up, you use more of your clean tone, your direct guitar sound. So I'm going to uh, play you what it sounds like off, and then uh, and we're going to roll it up a little bit, and then roll it up a little bit more. What do you say? Let's do that. Okay, now let's roll this same thing up to 2.5. Let's give a listen. Five point oh, anyone? Mm, halfway there. This is as far as I would go with this particular tone and kind of in this song, blah blah blah. Although, you know, I would not use this particular amp tone on this song with that much gain. We'll get into that later when I actually do a, uh, uh, a preset for 
It's Only Love by Brian Adams. This is not it. This is just, you know, the direct mix demo. So let's hear it at 5.0. <laughs> There you have it, everybody, the first Kemper Profiler TV video. And uh, for the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing probably one, maybe two videos a week just because I'm still working with the Kemper, working out things that I need to uh, address myself for my own playing. I've got the remote over here on the floor, and I've got to uh, suss that thing out before Wednesday for a rehearsal. I'm going to use this with my band, and uh, we play 70s and 80s and some 90s covers. So... A lot of my focus is going to be how to recreate tones from the 70s, 80s, and 90s using the Kemper. And I am supremely confident that it's going to be able to, it's up to the task. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And we're all going to have a bunch of fun. So I will see you next time. And until then, please have a good weekend. Rock on.